Hi everybody, hope you guys had a great weekend. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about compound lifts and explain to you guys what they are, when you should do them, and everything like that. I've been getting a lot of messages from girls telling me that they're afraid to do compound lifts, they don't know when to do them or how to do them. So I figured I would talk to you guys about that today and also show you guys the compound lifts that I normally do. So first let's talk about what a compound lift is. A compound lift is a movement that is involving multiple different muscle groups. So for squats for example, you are primarily focusing on your quads but your glutes are involved, your hamstrings are involved, your calves are involved, um, your abs are involved, even your neck is involved to help stabilize you versus something like an isolation movement like leg extensions for example, you pretty much are just using your quads um, to do that movement. So. A compound lift is something that involves multiple different muscle groups and involves also multiple joints as well. Now as far as when you should do your compound lifts, I really recommend doing them first before you do any accessory movements. I see a lot of girls for on leg day for example, they'll go in and they'll do leg press, they'll do lunges and all kinds of different accessories and then they'll go and try to squat. The problem with that is you really need a lot more energy to squat than you do to do something like leg extensions. So since so many muscle groups are involved doing something like squats, I really recommend doing those big lifts first. If you watch my videos, you know that I do my main lifts first before I do my accessories. That way I have all my energy and focus into my big lifts and then um, at the end of my workout I will do my accessories. Also that way you can keep your form intact because if you go and do a ton of movements and then try and do you know big lifts like squats and deadlifts, um, your form can definitely suffer because you're already tired and you're not really thinking about form. Um, so I really think that you should do your compound lifts first. Now if you wanted to warm up a little bit with the accessory movements, that's perfectly fine, just don't overdo it. Um, typically, for example, on leg day, if my body's really cold or if it's cold outside, I will warm up with like leg extensions and leg curls just for like a couple sets of 20, nothing crazy, nothing heavy at all. Um, and then I also walk sometimes a little bit and then for upper body, I will just do some dynamic warm ups as well, which I can show in another video. But that's pretty much it. Don't go crazy doing a bunch of different things before you do your big lifts. All of the lifts that you guys see in this video, I will place in the description box as well. Um, keep in mind that these are just the compound lifts that I normally do. There's a lot more out there and obviously do whatever works best for you and do what you feel best doing. But these are the compound lifts that I always do, typically. Um, so I showed you guys two different variations of squats. I did a high bar squat as well as front squats, but there are so many different more ways to squat. Um, there's low bar squats, there's different ways that you can place your feet to feel it in different areas. Obviously just do what you typically do and do what you enjoy. And then for deadlifts, I showed you guys sumo deadlifts as well as Romanian deadlifts, which are what I normally do. But there's also conventional deadlifts and stiff leg deadlifts and other different types of deadlifts that you can do. And hip thrusts, I know a lot of people might consider that an accessory movement because they don't do it with a lot of weight. But hip thrusts for me are big lifts. I actually take it really seriously and go heavy on them. So that is a compound lift for me and different muscle groups are involved. So it technically is a compound lift. And you guys are also fixing to see my upper body compound lifts as well. But I really just want to say it's important that you pay attention to what you're focusing on. Do not let your mind limit you. Um, pay attention to what you think about. Do not tell yourself that you can't. Only believe that you can do something. As far as lifting goes, just know that your body is way stronger than your mind allows it to believe. Your body will do whatever your mind tells it to. So do not tell yourself that you can't do something. There's no such thing as failure. There's only such thing as learning. And if you're afraid that you know your form isn't going to be good enough, um, just know that everyone started off as a beginner. I used to have extremely horrible form on deadlifts, squats, like on all the lifts that you see me doing now. And it just takes time and it takes practice and practice makes progress. And there's always room for improvement. Even myself, I take the time to focus and work on my form and everything. So don't be afraid to do these lifts. I promise you, you will feel amazing. And for me personally, once I got over my fear of lifting and I started lifting for real and got away from only doing machines and things like that, I just gained so much mental strength on top of all of the physical um, strength and progress that I gained as well. It is really amazing what lifting has done for me and I really think it has done like great things for a lot of people. It's not just about your body, your mind is always involved when it comes to lifting um, and it has just made me a better person outside of the gym as well. And I know I didn't really talk too too much about form in this video, but I do plan on doing, you know, individual videos explaining form for different movements. I am planning on doing an updated how to squat video very soon, um, so stay tuned for that. And if there's any questions that you guys have for me, definitely let me know. But the thing about form is it's different for everyone. Like my form for squats, for example, is not going to be the same for somebody else. And you know, you can see all different kinds of videos, and people will tell you that this is a way to do this and this is a way to do that, but. 
honestly it's what works best for you there's no two bodies that are alike um everyone has different limbs and just completely different bodies so really just play around with it and do what works best for you do what feels comfortable and you know do what you feel is going to give you the best results and that's pretty much going to wrap up this video i hope it was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it and again if there's any suggestions that you guys have for me that you want to see in future videos definitely let me know if you have any questions for me also let me know and i will also be getting back to messages as soon as possible thank you guys for being patient with me and for being so amazing and supportive I love you guys so much. Y'all are the friends that I never had in high school, for real. <laughs> and um, I just appreciate y'all more than you guys will ever realize. So thank you guys. I love y'all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.